Fantastic one, two, three. Ouch. Hello there. Welcome back, everyone, to the wonderful world of Dart. That would have been a better series name, I think. All right, episode 20, here we go. As you can see, I'm over here, and I have been messing with some industrial craft croppage. What in the world? Is that wheat spreading up? It might be, or it might be something else. I don't know, because here's what I did. I took all of those good seeds, tier 2 and above, which I'll tell you what those that means later, and I stuck them in here, and I have been making use of this special resource chest here, which I have also told to keep a stack of crops to keep myself, you know, up on fertilizer and hydration cells and weed eggs. I grabbed all those industrial craft seeds that I've been storing there, and I came over here and I put I put down crops and I put seeds in them and I am attempting to crossbreed them. Now what I did is I took the weed X and I, uh, you know, clicked on these suckers so that they would have resistance to weeds, all of them. Gave some, you know, hydration cells. You also right click with these guys to help these things grow or encourage them or discourage them. I don't know, but you know, I figure if I can right click them, I should probably be doing it. So there you go, you know, whatever. And fertilizer, you know, just right click there and they will uh, help this junk grow too. Something or other. I'm not sure on the exact things, but you know, I know they help them and I have the resources, so let's just use them. Okay? Oh, there's a weed! Jerk, how dare you grow here? Get out of there. And then we'll just put some weed X in there, two sprays, some hydration cell, and then a little bit of fertilizer. I don't know, whatever. So yeah, I'm just over here taking all this junk and I'm trying to breed something new, you know? Just see what I can get. Right, here's something of note here. You notice I can actually shift walk over these things without destroying them? Just crouch walk over them? This is a feature that is pretty much unique to version 195 of... Well, it's not present in the new version of Industrial Craft. So if you update to 197, and I gotta tell you, this is the biggest reason I have not done so. Then you will not be able to shift walk over your crops. You'll just, you just, you can't, you can't just shift walk and hope that they don't get destroyed. It'll crush them. So in this version, it still works. But, you know, beware of updating. If you're like me and you like to do all this industrial croppery. Because otherwise you're going to have to do them in like lines or possibly two lines. You can't do a nice big old square like I like to. But I've got something else I want to do with this episode right now, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually take out these middle ones right now, and the best way to take these out is just to use Mr. Chainsaw here, because it does it so darn quickly. I'm going to take these guys out to prevent, you know, weeds from growing. Until, of course, these things are finished, finished growing up. So here, there shouldn't be any weeds spreading up, and I could just leave this and, you know, go do something else for a bit. Sinks analyzing a bunch of nether wart seeds because I uh, picked this plot up. I just I just grabbed them. I said screw it. Let's just take the nether warts up because I don't really need them. So I'll let those analyze. I'll let these grow, and I'll be back later. But for now, I've got a build I want to get to. So without further ado, let's start making all this junk I'm gonna need. Come over to my to do chest. See, it's got a mess, a jumble of all this junk in here. First, I'm gonna make something for build craft. All right. If you take Eight pieces of paper and one piece of lapis in the middle, you get a blueprint. And I'm gonna need nine. These things apparently don't stack. If I take a bookshelf and surround it with blueprints, I get something called a blueprint library. I'll just go over in this room, you know. Why not? And uh, I'm just gonna pop down this sucker right here. It's kinda over in the corner. I don't know. Whatever. Now you come over here, you right click on this thing, and you get, you get this gobbledygook here. And what you could do is you could take blueprints, and you could put them in here and say, Hey, you know, what do you want to do? Well, I want to take Mob Crush 3, which is something that I saved to my blueprint library before, and imprint it to this blueprint. Now, what is this blueprint, and how did you get this? Alright, now here's something I did. I was, I was in a test world, and I built something that I really liked. And I said, I would like to build this in my main world, but I don't necessarily want to have to go through all that trouble again. So you know what I did? I made a blueprint. And here it is. 
this is one of the many joys of Buildcraft. And you could save, uh, but I don't know how many you could save to this blueprint library, but you notice it is saved across save files. So I could just go off to another world and build something and then, you know, imprint it into a blueprint. And there's a item you use to do that that, uh, you know, I may or may not show you. If you don't know what this junk is, at some point maybe I can do like a, a mod splanation or something. Sounds like a cool series name. But I'm not going to go into crazy depth in this series. Another thing I need is if, I, if you take a redstone torch and lapis, you'll get landmarks. This is for Buildcraft as well. And it goes right hand in hand with all this other junk. But it's very important to have some of these, and one of these is actually a recipe ingredient. Take this one on the corner over here. Gets two diamond gears, so that's kind of expensive. Chest, crafty table, dandelion yellow, ink sacks, and a landmark to get the builder. This thing's pretty much the cornerstone of Buildcraft. At least, you know, like vanilla Buildcraft. And the builder allows you to take blueprints and use them for nefarious purposes. And the nefarious purpose I have in mind today is to come right out here. I think this is a pretty good location. And I'm gonna do this underwater slightly. What could this be? This, this can't possibly be anything good. Well, once again, you underestimate me. So let's take this blueprint, throw it inside the builder's so right here. And it looks like it wants to take this area right here and turn it into something interesting. And I think that is appropriate. So let's just swim down here and check this out, because this, uh, this is pretty deep down here, and it wants to go even a little bit further. How much further does it want to go? Uh, just right here. Let's come and turn right here. Now this area does not need to be cleared. It will do it by itself. It will clear this area and it will fill it with what was shown on the template. Now unfortunately for the viewers, the save file that I used to make this is actually no longer in existence. So it was a Mistcraft world and I upgraded and all the stuff disappeared. So even though I kind of wanted to tweak the design a little bit more, I didn't really feel like bothering with it past that. You know, it, this is it's going to be pretty, pretty good. So I'm just going to put this down here. And now what the builder needs is the builder needs some... Uh, it needs 3,044 cobblestone. It needs 147 stone bricks, and 24 torches, 16, 16 water buckets. Yep, yep, we're gonna have to give it water buckets. Four block of iron. That's interesting. I forgot that I did that. I actually use those for something just relatively decorative. It really isn't necessary, but that'll be fine. Pressure plate, pneumatic tube, iron door, dirt. Chest, sticky piston, glass, transposers. Now let's see, among all this junk, what I'm really gonna have to worry about is my system either has or can make everything except for the iron door and this 16 water buckets. Water buckets, you say, why do you need water buckets for this? Well, that's that's an interesting question and uh, I'm not gonna answer it. Nope, you stop asking questions that I don't wanna answer. This is, obviously, from the name you saw, this is Mob Crush 3. So, you know, it crushes three mobs at once. No, actually, it's the third design because I had to do it a bunch of times. It just didn't necessarily... I mean, the first two attempts were okay, but I, I felt I could improve on the design, you know, twice. So, I did. Now, I've got to make this other thing because... This is an interesting addition to logistics pipes. If you take a basic logistics pipe, you know, make the whole yellow and black design, you can get the builder supplier logistics pipe. And as far as I know, I should be able to just take this, just jam it on the side there, and then throw this teleport pipe here on mobile. Receive true. And it should start filling the orders for this thing. See, look at that. Or anything that it can make. Look at this junk. That's beautiful. Look how easy that was. I didn't have to do a darn thing. But this thing, it's its not going to be able to hold all this junk. Okay, so... But here's something. I could just throw the golden conductive pipe, power teleport pipe, right here, and connect it to power receive true. And now all I have to do to get this thing working is to come down... Oh, is to come down here and flip this power on, all right? And these biogas engines will start their edges, or start themselves. 
pump it along at 5 MJ per T. So we have six full engines powering that thing. I'm gonna go watch it build. I bet it's sick. Let's take a look. What's it doing? What's it doing? Oh! Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this, Chuck! Look at him go! Look at him go! He is digging up this area. Oh, no! Oh, no! He destroyed it! Or... Oh, what? Oh, good lord! Good lord! Look at all that junk! I've explored all those caves. This is how ridiculous. How much mining I've done. Look at this glitch. This extended glitch that's just allowing me to see all this stuff. This is ludicrous. Oh, it's gone. That was crazy. Oh, it's doing it again. You optifying, you're lazy. Oh, look, I can swim quickly. Whee! Oh, that looks weird. Holy crap. You're gonna give yourself a hernia, Link. What are you doing? He's not wearing the Zora's mask. That's not a good thing. So this thing will just, you know, dig out the area it needs and then start putting all the junk in there. I suppose I could just leave this, but it's going to need that, those 16 water buckets that it requested because uh, when you ask it to put down water, just in certain areas, because this is a mob trap and I do use some water, but uh, don't worry, once this thing's about done building, it will actually go ahead and take out the water that's already in here before it puts in the new water. So, you know, don't worry about it. I, I tested that, too, just in the test world underwater. See if it would work. Something's holding it up. Let me go check. Whee! Ah, good lord. Stop it. Stop it. Stupid amulet. Well, this thing isn't getting the cobblestone it needs. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it wants the buckets of water or the iron doors right away, because it doesn't have those yet, so... It might not have access to pneumatic tubes or pressure plates either, so let me go put an iron door, a pneumatic tube, a pressure plate in there, and then I'll start working on the water buckets. And all I really have to do is get them into the system, since that uh, supplier pipe should do its business. It should, anyway. I'm actually going to have to make the iron door. So there's the iron door, there's the pneumatic tube, pressure plate, and I guess now it wants 16 water buckets. Why do you want the water buckets? There's already water in there. You're not very intelligent, are you? All right, I got some tin. So, all right, bunch of water buckets here. Water bucket, water bucket. Put some buckets in there. So I got eight water buckets in there now, uh, unless it just needs... I guess it just could... Oh, you know what happened? It uh, it couldn't shove 3,000 cobble into that little inventory, so it didn't do it. So I'm going to have to uh, be a little clever here. Let's borrow some cobble out of this chest here. In fact, let's borrow about as much as I can. Let's make another temporary thing here. We're going to call you Mobile 2. And what you can do is you can put a chest right adjacent to the builder, shove items in there, and it'll recognize them. So look at that, it's it's taking the cobble, it's putting it where it wants to go. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to remote order up here a supplier logistics pipe. It just shows up in the inventory of the builder here. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, hey, you get right here. Why don't you keep supplied? Three stacks of cobblestone, all right? And I'm going to connect you to Mr. Mobile 2. Save true. So this thing will uh, have all the cobble it needs within reason just to finish this build up so I don't have to bother to do that again. This thing should have everything it needs now. It even has three additional pieces of dirt for some reason. What? There you put dirt in my builder. Look this thing build. Isn't it beautiful? Get it go. That is so quick. If there wasn't water in there, there'd be monsters spawning in it. And uh, that's actually kind of the idea. Is watching the builder do its magic defeating the purpose of the automation? I don't think so, because look, I could not place these blocks that quickly. Not even if I had, like, creative. And even the mercurial eye would just not... Well, it definitely wouldn't be as precise, that's for sure. Let's just go check out those engines. Oh, good lord! Ouch! Oh, Dang, that was unexpected. Let's do it again. Whee! Oh, good lord! Oof! That really hurt. That really smarts. Speaking of automation, I just love watching these things go. And, you know, just inexplicably flickering. 
This engine, sir. Oh, look at that. They've only worked through about two buckets worth so far of biomass. Seeing how much I have left and how much more I can make, I've... Good lord, not even scratched the surface. Oh, check this out now. It's not even using the chest anymore. It's just using this. Well, whatever. It was a good idea while it lasted. Mr. Robot's building very quickly. Also, you can tell the speed of the robot because uh, blue is the most efficient speed. Green would be the second best and uh, red would indicate that it doesn't quite have enough energy or that it's winding down. I better not get trapped in here. That'd be a bad idea. Need to get out of here. Whee! Gosh, that's fun. It should not be so much fun. You know, I think I'll just do that a few times while I wait for this to build. Should be able to make it all the way up here. Whee! Oh, that is efficient. Oh, look at all these crops. They've grown. Oh, beautiful. Except this weird thing in the middle that's taking forever to grow. Good lord. I've got time. Let's help it out. Some fertilizer. Hydration cells. I like this. It's very colorful over here. Let's just take some hydration cell and some fertilizer. You know, get growing. There's no way that's wheat. It's taking way too long to grow. So, uh, if I play my cards right, I might have something pretty cool to play around with in a bit. Well, back to thinking I'm a dolphin. <laughs> Ooh, that's great. But I said dolphin, not goat. We overlord. <laughs> yeah. This is ludicrous. I'll tell you what. Fish man. Or man fish. Swim big faster than the world can load. Wee. Ouch. Must resist temptation to leave island. I bet I could find another island in like two seconds too. Maybe like, maybe like eight take very long. Oh, well, wait, you can see I replaced this obsidian with a bookshelf. It just didn't look right. And I only put the obsidian there a long time ago because I didn't have bookshelves yet. Let's just check on this. Gotta be about done by now. Enough of this junk. I have flies swimming in two inches of water. Still working on the cobble, it looks like. What? What's this junk? What in the world? Didn't ask for more cobble. What is going on here? Does it need more cobble? It's on cobble recursion. Uh, this thing looks like it's full on the side. You know, it's just filled. Or at least it's closed, and I can't tell, you know, what it's supposed to be. Hey, how am I going to get into this? I just now think of that? Are you serious? That's not a good idea. What? <sighs> Why did it take me this long? Oh, but on another note, this thing must still be going, because there's still power flowing to this machine here. Are you going to cook the glass for it? Do I have to go do that? Why did you shove six and a half additional stacks of cobblestone in here? You did not need that. I don't... You know, I might be clearing the water right now. I can't really tell. Yeah, I've got something else I can do. Let's go craft some stuff. To be continued. Well, back to thinking I'm a dolphin. <laughs> Ooh, that's great. But I said dolphin, not goat. 